the end of 1948, I was working part-time at the Juilliard School of Music, where we both were attending. That's the first time I saw Richard. It was a moment, a moment I've never forgotten. And With him, when I was looking in his eyes, he had beautiful eyes. I said, I, I told you, I said, I want to sing for you. <laughs> That's so a good way to get in. <laughs> he invited me over then. We sang and we got along great. Let's see now, 1950. 61 years. God, 61 years. Can't some, it's some sort of a record, isn't it? Some sort, <laughs> I guess. We're both voice teachers, singing teachers. We attend a lot of theater, a lot of opera, musical theater, and uh, we've kept up with his singing. Very few arguments. <laughs> never, never go to sleep on an argument. To be able to start a new phase of life by being married after 61 years would really be a completion of something that's been quite marvelous and wonderful for us both. We've always thought of ourselves as a couple, as a pair. It's it wonderful to be able to say, we're married. We had thought about doing something up in Massachusetts or Connecticut, but We've always been New Yorkers. Better part of our lives here. Now. But it's been all, all the productive, professional part of our lives has been in New York. Everything has been New York. New York, New York. Well, anyway, we're New Yorkers. And after 61 years of togetherness, we feel we have a right to be married in New York. It's about time, huh? Yes, it certainly is about time after 61 years. Yes.